Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. I get one comment every time I do a milling machine video, and that comment is asking about the 7 inch riser block on my milling machine. Even Tom Lipton made a comment the other day about how it makes it look like I'm sitting in a chair. A lot of people ask me if I'm short because my milling head is so high up where, you know, it's seven inches higher than most mills. And actually, I've got risers underneath that even raise it up a couple more inches down below. And the reason I have the riser block is, well, there's several advantages to it. One of the advantages, I have more capacity this way. Another advantage is because the whole system is raised up seven inches, I get to operate my mill at a standing normal height where my back stays straight, not bent over trying to turn the handles. And that actually is my favorite reason. I have also, because of this riser block, I've actually milled the top of a Land Rover engine on this. It's a small four cylinder, it sits about so far, and I've shaved the top of the head, or not the head, top of the block with this milling machine with that riser block. Now the question is, is like I said, this is a seven inch block. Some people are concerned that you can't rise or raise up the vise high enough to your cutter. Well, let's take a look. All right, there is the maximum height of this table. As you heard, it jumped right off the screw. So we're sitting right now as high up as we can. And we have about an inch and a quarter clearance, which in my opinion is good enough for everything. Because if you think about even a cutter like this wouldn't even fit in here. And remember, your vise adds another four and a half inches to your table. That is without even having the rotary base on the bottom. So let's bring this back down. And look at how much room you have for a drill chuck. And then of course the drill bit would be underneath. So to me, to not have this riser block on here, I think it really limits the capacity of what you can do on a milling machine. I've also been asked, could you build one of these? And the answer is yes. They're not difficult. The, this, um, you'd have to measure your mill. I think this is about 14 inches in diameter. If you got a good, thick, rigid piece of pipe, I'd want to get something that has minimum of 3 quarters of an inch thick, maybe 1 inch if you can. And even if your lathe cannot handle something that big to mill both ends of this. You can do that all on the milling machine by building a special large fly cutter to reach out and get that larger diameter to set this in. And the way you would actually set it up is this has to fit inside a groove here and then it has a male and a female connection and you'd be able to take the head off, measure this, match it up to this and bring it all together. It wouldn't be that hard a project. One of the things I do get concerned with is iron and cast steel are not the same, or I should say steel pipe and cast iron are not the same. Cast iron has a rigidity and a memory. It wants to come back to its original cast shape where steel can bend or twist or eventually become malleable over time. So I worry about going with too thin a pipe. Get in as thick as you can to make this work. So there we go. I hope I answered everybody's questions on this riser block. I personally would not have a milling machine without it just because of the comfortability. Comfortability, I'm not even sure if that's a word. Because of how comfortable it is to operate this milling machine at standing height and also the increased capacity. There we go, another video in the can. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Also, leave your positive comments. Oh, oh, one more thing. 
I'm sure you guys noticed this drill adapter. I'm doing a video on how to make this. I think you guys will like it because it's very easy, very simple, very quick to do. All right, until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.